The Canadian University McGill along with the University of the West Indies are in the final stage of completing a four-year-long project to promote healthy Caribbean diets and the best possible nutrition to reduce obesity. UWE Professor Dr. Wayne Ganpat said based on preliminary findings, obesity in the Caribbean population is increasing more so among children. Next year, August, the joint study will be concluded. But we increasingly we're seeing that becoming more evident in the children. Obesity is a big problem in the region that has been rising over the years and especially among females. So this project is aimed at targeting in the first instance school children. The professor noted that there seems to be a low rate of consumption of vegetables and fruits which is creating avenues for more persons to gain weight. He said the trend is taking a toll on Caribbean governments while threatening the population's health. The real reason is the cost in the long term of rolling back and treating with all these diseases is costing the region almost one billion US dollars and that's what we really have to try to see. Dr. Ganpat said what the project will do is place emphasis on the need for public education on the usefulness of local crops. Researchers have identified local crops and local livestock that can be more nutritious than what we have than what we presently eat and we have to kind of popularize that among the people. It will require big education a big education effort, right, among the children and then in the adult population. The study is being funded by the Canadian government and piloted in four countries, including Guyana. The Food and Agriculture Organization has identified some Caribbean countries who have a long history of resilience on exportation of plantation crops for economic development. The body even pointed out that indeed some countries have paid little attention to local food production, particularly vegetables and 